Ever since I purchased my Bamboo Lab A1, I've had a ton of bed adhesion issues, ranging from bad to worse. Now, as somebody trying to start their own 3D print farm, it's essential that I nail down this super important component of 3D printing so that I can send high quality prints to my customers. With that being said, here are 10 ways I was able to fix that issue. Also video chapters as well, because even if you've watched these videos before, I think there might be a couple of tips in here that you haven't heard yet. Make sure you stick around because fix number four is when things really started to improve for me. Tip number one that I have for you that you'll see in just about every video, make sure your build plate's clean. Your fingers have oils that can be left on the actual print bed itself. So make sure you're spraying that down with some isopropyl alcohol. I personally use 90%. And every couple weeks, make sure you're cleaning it with some Dawn dish soap and a light scrub on there or some warm water will really help keep a bunch of those prints adhered better. Now, again, this may not be the sole fix. So let's talk about some other ones that could do the trick. Next is gonna be preventing some drafts in your home. If you might have your printer near a window, near a fan or an air conditioner or something along those lines, or even an open doorway, it can make a big difference in terms of your prints adhering to your bed. So what I do is I actually have my printer in a closet away from any drafts. I close the door when the print is occurring. And I think that really helps quite a bit with my print sticking. Now, tip number three is there's a ton of back and forth on this. For instance, Reddit is something that I consult pretty often with issues that I have. And drying your filament is something that is has a lot of people uh, conflicted. I bought this uh, Sunlu filament dryer. I think it works really well. It was cheap. Um, I'll have the link down below. I don't get anything from that. It's not an affiliate link, just something that I use. Let me grab that real quick. It's this model right here. Again, I think it works great. And did I see a difference? I did, but was that part of the other fixes that I made or was it just the filament drying? It's too hard to tell, but in terms of having issues with this, if this is something you're struggling with, checking everything off the box can really help. And I think drying your filament is one of those things. So this fix here, fix number four, for me was what made everything perfect, right? Everything after this point was great. Now I added a bunch of stuff in before this, and I'll talk about those here in a little bit, but this I think would be a great starting point for you to try. Now, if you look at your filament, Okay, your filament box has a recommended print temperature setting. Okay, for the Bamboo Lab PLA, for example, it's gonna be 190 degrees Celsius to 230 degrees Celsius. If you look in your filament itself, and I'll switch to one of my Bamboo Lab PLAs, okay, the print temperature for your nozzle is gonna be set at 220 degrees Celsius, which is at the upper range of that recommended uh, print temperature. So again, the thing that made this almost perfect for me was switching this to 210 degrees Celsius for my entire nozzle temperature. Again, just that small shift. Now it has a, uh, a much or a smaller uh, range between what the build plate is at versus what the printer, the filament's coming out at, which could uh, inhibit some of that contraction from happening when the cooling is occurring. Okay? Now, in addition to that, uh, fix number five here is going to be the PEI plate or your build plate temperature. Okay. I put my build plates at 60 degrees Celsius. I don't know why it switched at 300. 60 degrees Celsius, I run a textured PEI plate without glue um, for the most part. Again, these two combined together made my pieces almost perfect for the majority of my prints. I'll talk about a couple other settings here in just a second, but for the most part, this was a huge, huge help to my prints. So fix number six brings us into the cooling section. Now, the cooling section is where I've uh, modified a bunch of different settings here. First of which is going to be this no cooling section. So no cooling for the first X layers really helps to get that uh, firm set base for your prints. And for me, I turn this up to three layers. Again, the first three layers will have zero fan, zero cooling at all, just the filament and the build plate um, meshing together nicely. Now adding that on, uh, fix number seven here is going to be the fan speed itself. I lowered all of my fan speeds to 40%, uh, percent. again, less cooling. Um, I think you would agree, or people would agree on Reddit that the 100% fan speed of 60 and 80 um, is overkill in terms of what Bamboo sets as your um, initial presets. So modifying those, again, made a big difference for me as well, knocking those down to 40 and 40. Now, fix number eight here. One of my recent projects I did was building my own Lego Star Destroyer um, piece by piece. And what I did is I didn't use supports for that setting. Um, 
And what happens is where the base of the piece comes up and then it starts to print the top section here, this made a 90 degree angle, meaning it would force that cooling fan to go crazy when it's starting to lay that top because it thinks there's an overhang that needs to be force cooled. So this part right here, I turned this off and immediately noticed a huge difference in certain prints. Now, for a lot of you that are using supports, it's not gonna make a huge difference right because you're going to have that support section but if you're not using supports and you have different sections you're trying to keep um nice i think this made a huge difference for me all right last two fixes here number nine maybe we start looking at a new build plate now that could be just purchasing a new build plate the one you have maybe you've run it a ton maybe there's scratches dents issues with that build plate maybe we just look at a separate one Okay. Maybe we switch the texture. If we have a smooth build plate, maybe we go to textured, textured to smooth, see if that helps. Another thing that you could do is potentially look for an aftermarket build plate. I know a ton of people recommend the Cryo Grip build plate. I believe it's BICU, um, B-I-Q-U. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to say that, but a ton of people seem to have really good success with that. You can build the stereotypical, you know, staircase making its way up. Um, a lot of people swear by those. If you watch a ton of other YouTubers, they do the same thing. So that could be an option for you as well. I'll link that down below. Again, no affiliate associated with that whatsoever. Um, just trying to recommend some things that seem to work well for other people. And lastly, gonna be a bit of a, a softball here, but run the auto calibration on your Bamboo Lab if you have Bamboo Lab. Um, I run it every single time. It takes a couple extra minutes. Um, and then I just have the peace of mind that my printer is gonna be calibrated properly before the print begins. Always something to keep in mind if you don't have a printer that has auto calibration, um, might be worth doing it every couple days. Again, just to make sure you know everything's level, everything's set, and that part of the equation is gonna be something you don't have to worry about. I just wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you have any additional tips or tricks for anybody that's watching or reading in the comments, uh, please let me know down below. Uh, I'd love to hear anything else. If this if these don't work for you, feel free to reach out to me and we can try and troubleshoot some additional steps. But again, I had all sorts of issues and these solved it completely for me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time and hopefully we'll see you in a new video. Thank you.